Look how cute. Oh. Look at that. It's gorgeous. There's my little yellow. Good morning, everyone. I just got out of the um, doctor's office. Um, I've had to get checked because we had a chemical fume event on the plane about, I would say, a week and a half now. And they just want to make sure that, um, you know, we're all okay. So I finally got my discharge papers, which means I'm free and clear and everything is okay. Um, since I am here, I am going to go to the local Goodwill right across uh, the street. It's not too far from here. And I'm going to see if there's some things that I can purchase so that I can resell. I'm starting a resell business online. And, uh, you know, I've been gathering supplies and stuff like that. So just going to go over there and check it out and see if there's anything good and worthwhile that I can flip for a profit. So let's, let's go along. That's a good wheel. This one right here has some great um, furniture, like really, really cheap priced. Uh, but also, uh, it's pretty inexpensive in there too. So let's take a look. Okay, so I am going to do a voiceover because the music in the store is a little bit loud and I do not want to get a copyright strike. So, without further ado, let me show you around my favorite Goodwill. It's on 34th Street. Now, these are the first things I put in my cart. $1.98 for these um, figurines. They're made out of wood. It's a man and a woman, and I just thought they were very interesting. So that's the first thing in my cart. Here I'm looking at a clock. Now, I did purchase a clock previously, and unfortunately it didn't work. So even though it looked interesting, I did not want to take another chance. This is a little resin box. Um, it kind of looked interesting. I thought it was wood, but it turned out it was resin. So moving along. I don't like getting people on camera. <laughs> So here I am picking up a candle holder. It's a beautiful cobalt blue with the flowers. It's It was kind of cloisonne and I put it in my cart. I was kind of hoping I would find the second one, but I ended up putting it back because I did not get a second um, candle. Now this is a ice bucket, which is made out of really heavy crystal and silver plated handle that's where I'm going to put my makeup brushes now this I thought it was interesting pick it up 298 um, his nose is a little bit smushed and so I end up looking at the other one which he was in great condition look at that and then it turns out it's not a figurine it's an actual candle he was adorable and I'm kind of sad that I didn't pick it up for my puppy lovers out there. Now this is the cup section. I always look through the cups, um, especially kitschy ones. Anything that looks weird or kitschy, like I said, usually does really well. So always take a look and see if there's anything that catches your eye. Unfortunately, on this run, I didn't see anything. Now, this is a cute little bell. Uh, she looks Belgium. There's no name on it, and uh, so I ended up putting her back. But not bad for $1.98. Now this, I love the blue color of it only three dollars and i definitely am bringing this home i'm going to use it for display purposes now always look through the 
uh, all of the frames because I have found solid silver 925 frames before in, um, I think it was the Salvation Army. So always look, be on the lookout because the, some of the older ones were made with silver. Now this is a humongous tree and I'm not an, on, you know, in the market for a tree right now. However, I just want to show you guys, look, $20 for a full tree fern. The prices here for um, housewares and furniture are super awesome. So make sure you take a look and come and find you know this store it's on 34th street if you ever get the chance to shop here in st petersburg but look 25 bucks very reasonable those things go for hundreds of dollars so um you know you never know what you're gonna find now because i am new in florida or newish I am always looking for furniture or things that I could, um, you know, for my apartment. So, like, look, this is a perfect example. This was only $25, and look how beautiful that is. Um, if I had a truck, I would definitely be shopping there for a lot more. Now, this mm -hmm. little zebra I thought was interesting. Only $4. He's pretty big, and he's made out of very light wood which makes me think he's probably made out of um, palm tree wood but I end up putting him down because it doesn't go with my personal decor so and it would be probably a little bit too big to ship now this was a blue leather chair marked at only ten dollars look at the grommets on the side it just needed a nice cleaning, but it's nice and vintagey. I would have taken that home in a heartbeat if I'd had a truck. <laughs> it's very nice. And here I'm just showing you a couple of other pieces just so that you guys can see the prices here are super reasonable. These side tables, very nice and just a little cleaning, maybe some paint if you want to do that, but it's $8 for a side table. Not bad. Now this is the plastic department. I picked that up because of the color just drew me in and I realized there's two of them, um, but I don't need any cups right now. So I put them back. Now this was interesting, look. They left a real pearl in there for the next crafter that picks it up. <laughs> Just trying to give you guys a good look at everything. Now this is my favorite aisle. It is the glassware aisle. Now this I just showing you it's somebody did something with rhinestones. This is a little kitschy. But um, I have found Waterford Crystal here and uh, this just oh, I am in love. Look at the etching. It is so gorgeous and uh, it's very reasonably priced. Unfortunately the people that donate um, usually they're not like full sets so you'll get like maybe two or three maybe four now that I didn't see at the store I didn't realize it but it looks very interesting with the red the picture um, I didn't pick it up but I wish I had uh, this I was just looking mm -hmm. you know this other one right here it has some interesting leaf patterns again $1.98 can't beat those prices I'm telling you especially for vintage items I love this store now this platter was very beautiful um, it has 
a lot of weight to it and look it's got some um, hearts in the middle you could do like I don't know for maybe a Valentine's themed um, dinner party or something like that it would be very very cute and just make sure you always look at everything because you never know what you're gonna find but look oh my gosh I swear I would have a kitchen full of super high class <laughs> glasses and I would drink my milk out of it you know what I mean it's so pretty look at that that craftsmanship you don't see anymore on anything really so now this is the metal department I found a couple of cool pieces here this little picture I think is very interesting with the diamond indents in there I thought that was very nice There's a lot on these shelves, a ton of stuff. You really have to look very carefully. Not that ginger meal cup, I always look at them because I have several ginger meal cups at home and I'm always on the lookout. I have three right now. Now these are, um, what is it, hurricane lamps? And I just love the gold with the clear glass and um, actually there were three I think I ended up putting two in the cart with me and but at the end of the day I always rethink everything and I ended up putting those back only because I feel like well I really don't need hurricane lamps right now but they are gorgeous and they were only four dollars a piece oh look St. Petersburg College mug. <laughs> That's uh, where I live, guys. St. Petersburg, Florida. Mm, nothing special. Bit rusty on the bottom. There's some uh, large trays, but of course, they're super big, so I leave them behind for somebody else to find. Now this, oh my gosh, guys, look at that. This is a jewelry box. And $7, um, I don't know if you caught it, but it's by Gottinger. I fell in love with this. It's got um, hummingbirds all over. And so I put it in my cart. And don't worry, guys, I will give you a... Uh, show I will show you everything that I bought at the end of the video in a little bit more detail so you can see my shopping haul because everything right now is going so fast now this it's like a butter dish but I thought I could um, use it for display purposes so like you know take the lid off and expose the jewelry and stuff I'm always looking for like displays that one was a cool plate. This is a nice uh, teapot. You'll see it a little bit more in detail. I also always go through the linen department uh, because I use linens specifically for backdrops and also um, I have found some pretty cool linens uh, for uh, my own personal use. So. They have about, I don't know, six or eight rows full of linens. This store is huge, guys. If you want to take a look, make sure you come around. Now, even the toy department, I always look through every single department because, like I said, you never know. There's a lot of toys that are, um, you know, they go for a lot of money online, especially the older ones. So here I am just looking at this one. I thought it might have been something Barbie-ish or whatever, but it wasn't. It, it caught my attention though, but um, I looked it up online and it wasn't anything special, so I just put it back.
this Goodwill also sells a lot of um, brand new things, which I'm not fond of because, you know, if you go to the Goodwill, you go there for the vintage stuff, not for new stuff, but uh, yeah. Now, another area that I look for is the stuffed animals. Uh, this one has a flat rate for small, medium, and large, different sizes, different prices, but they're all flat rates. And um, I have found some pretty cool old vintage teddy bears in here. On this one, I happen to see this is a Build-A-Bear purple uh, dinosaur. And so that one came home with me. But make sure you continue to dig through because you never know what's at the bottom of the bin. So something interesting could be hiding worth a lot of money. You never know. Cute little teddies though. I love teddy bears. And there, look, I'm giving you a better look look at how cute that one is it's a build a bear and he does have a tiny little stain on the front i will make sure to wash that before i list it i even go through the lingerie department now this is vintage and that's like a wraparound um a cover i also bought the piece that goes underneath it that is also the same color uh that goes specifically with that but look how pretty somebody's gonna enjoy that i love vintage that's the underneath part so these are the things i ended up coming home with let me show you first of all we have this tea kettle thingy rogers and son from the year 2000 it was 4.98 and it has a pineapple on the top. Then I also picked up this um, apple. It's a glass jar and uh, like a cookie jar. It opens up right here. And um, oh, this one was at the another uh, thrift store I went to right next to the Goodwill. It was only $2.52. But look how huge it is. And um, it's got a little stem, and the color is beautiful cranberry. So I got that one. Okay. I'm on the floor here. Okay. So this one is a cup from the Polar Express. It still has the tag, so it's never been used. It's light sensitive. Um, $1.98 it was. But it's it's light sensitive. I don't know how to activate it, but there's a bell, I guess, inside. And then it says, believe. And here's the uh, train. Um, but it, it rings. I can't activate it right now. I don't know how to make it, but I, it, it rang a lot. Uh, when I first got it, I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> uh, anyways, um... Even though when I went through and I showed you the footage from the coffee cups, this wasn't there. I always do like two rounds just in case they're always putting out new things throughout the day. So um, this one, I got it right as they were putting them away. So good score on that. Polar Express, uh, favorite holiday movie with uh, Tom Hanks. Okay, these was probably one of the first things you saw me put in the cart. These are um, wooden sculptures. They were only $1.98 a piece. And you have the man and you have the woman. And um, it's solid wood, but it's a light wood. And I just thought they were interesting. So I will be um, selling these as a pair. Um, okay. This I got at the other thrift store, okay. Fanmara. And it's 
vineyards. It was only $1.49. It was made in Italy. And it comes out. Let me show you. And it's like a corker for wine. So that's that. This one, I thought it was really, really sweet. Um, it's a bunny rabbit. That's where you put a tea light in there. Price was only $1.98. This is from 1984. It's got a maker's mark right next to it, the name, but it's hard to read. But anyways, I thought, look at how beautiful he is. You just put a tea light in there. So I got that. <clears throat> this one is a cigarette case that I also got from the other store. But look at the scroll work. It's gorgeous, right? <clears throat> then when you open it, that's where you put your cigarettes. And look what I found. It's got my name, guys. Hansa Ware, Germany. So yeah, it's got my name. Look how cool. I don't smoke, but I'm not gonna keep it. However, I just thought it was pretty awesome. Hansa Ware from Germany. Um, this side has a different scroll work than this side. But $2.99, how cool is that? And I Googled it and um, it's, it's an oldie. <clears throat> this one, you saw me pick it up there for a second. This one I got more for um, displaying uh, my jewelry. It was $2.98. It's um, silver plated on steel. Haven't even opened it to see the status of the inside, but I thought it would be cute to put like some pieces of jewelry on the inside and then I can lift the the top and expose all the pretty jewelry that I'm selling so this is me this is uh, not really for sale although I think I'll, I'll at some point sell all of the display thingies but anyway same thing with this this is a cute little um, I don't know if it's an ashtray or what but it's got the flower is intact usually the flowers are so fragile they're uh, broken and this one it's a Dresden from Germany. I only found one and it was only $1.99. So I got this also to um, sell at some point, but also to maybe showcase a couple of little trinkets in there. <clears throat> this one, look at this one. Okay, so this is what it says right there it is german it was only two dollars and 99 cents and don't let the plastic fool you look how pretty that is on the inside so this is um a plate it's gorgeous and you can hang it and these are the marks on the back <clears throat> and it came with uh, this little booklet I guess it's telling you how it was made okay Oops. next up we have this cute puck plate by Vladimir this is what it says on, on the back. I thought it, he was adorable. Only $1.99 for my doggy lovers out there. Uh, let's see. Oh, these. Okay. These I had passed up when I first uh, went through the middle aisle. But then I went back. And these are from Israel, and they're um, for the Sabbath, I think it's called. Anyways, they were only $2.98 a piece, and I looked them up already, 
and they are they fetch a, a nice pretty penny these look at these who remembers these <laughs> these are made in italy they're you know the actual vintage from way back in the 70s um and yeah hold on there it tells you made in italy i don't know if you can tell from that but these were only five well six dollars and the top is um suede and i got these pumps they were from brighton look how cute this one where's the price on this i only paid like five bucks on these um but these are really cute from Brighton, and it also says made in Italy. Um, those are Calvin Klein's right there. Got Versace, um, Ray-Bans. This vase is unsigned, but look how beautiful that is. It's like an artisan piece. And this one was $2, guys. But as you can see, it's gorgeous. I love the colors. I'm going to put it on a round table and rotate it so with the light so you can actually see everything. I have some aluminum pieces here. Um, $1.98 from Wilson from Brooklyn, New York. That's a beautiful pattern on the inside. This one you might have seen. It has a pheasant. And it also says pheasant right there. Um, this one is from W&S Black Blackington. And um, let me see if I can focus the maker's mark. Um, okay, there's a clear picture of the maker's mark on the back. This one was $5, but I thought it was really, really beautiful with a pheasant. <clears throat> um, let me show you this one. So this is a uh, jewelry box with hummingbirds everywhere. This one, $6.98, a little bit more than I wish to have paid for it, but here is with the red velvet on the inside. It's got to be cleaned a little bit, but I just thought... <coughs> These hummingbirds look beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at this one. This little margarita. <laughs> I got this um, to display some of my jewelry, like spilling out of it or whatever. But this is like super duper heavy. I paid $5 for it, but look at the etching. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So this is for display, but also it'll be for sale at some point. Here's another aluminum coat, um, plate, platter. Look at how pretty. This one was only $1.98. And yeah, that's what it looks like. With the fruits. <clears throat> this one. This one. Um, I don't know what you would use it for. But. Um, look the handle looks like wood. Um, I don't know if that's peaches or what. But it looks super pretty. And. It's from Everlast. It was only $3.99 at Life's Treasures. Another thrift store. And then this platter, I don't want to um, get it, but here is this one. This one has got tulips 
engraved in it. It was only $3.49 as well. And it has um, the handles. So this is an actual serving tray. Gorgeous. It's also marked on the back. But these are some of the things that I have gathered from my last trip. What do you guys think? Let me know. Is there anything that you would have picked up? that I left behind or what do you think about the stuff that I got? Uh, let me know guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.